so don't worry. This little core move that we're going to do, you can do it on your, your, you can have your knees down, that's totally fine. Um, it's going to be sort of a, it's going to be a sprawled out plank. Maybe you've done it before, maybe you haven't. And what it looks like is, I just bring my hands about as wide as my yoga mat. If you're quite tall, then you can feel free to extend your arms off the mat, that's fine. And then I'm going to widen my feet to the corners of my yoga mat, okay? So I've got some long set of arms here, that's okay. So I'm not going to lift my hips, and I'm not going to banana my back, okay? I'm going to lift my belly button into my into my core, and then lengthen my tailbone towards my heels. So it feels like I'm kind of squeezing my back. Pressing into the toes, feeling my core right away. And I'm going to do this for 30 seconds. So I'm just going to look on this little time thing I have here. And I'm not rounding my back and sagging the head. And just kind of smear your gaze out in front. The clock's already going here. And breathe. If you feel that you're going like, boom, boom, and you're starting to shake, drop the knees right away, okay? If you need to come in and out of it, that's fine too. Okay. So you've got 11 seconds left. So remember, don't say, don't elevate, neutral. And breathe. It's kind of like you're peeling your yoga mat apart with your hands and your feet, like you're stretching. Part of the good attitude part. And two, one, you're done. Drop down and just release the back side to side. Release the hips side to side. And then walk your knees toward you as you walk your hands underneath your shoulders. All right? And relax here. So the first pose that we're gonna do is we're gonna come into a downward dog and we're gonna move into plank, down dog, plank, down dog. We're going to do that three times. So I'm going to come right up into my first down dog, stretch out my calves, get right into the gastrocnemius, down into the Achilles, through the soleus, so right in the back here, all along those lines. But get super tight. You don't stretch them out. Now I'm going to move into plank. And then I lift through my hips and come back into my down dog. Coming into the plank, moving through each vertebrae, listening to the body, carrying positive agreement, positive attitude with my body, listening. Never know what's going on in your day, and that can affect the way that you expose and express your attitude towards yourself and towards others. So we're going to focus on sharing together. drop down onto the knees, okay? We're gonna come back into a child's pose. Feel free to bring your arms back by your heels or the side of your feet, or you can keep them extended out. Couple good breaths here. Feel free to move side to side if you like. I really like to move my forehead across the yoga mat. This is, it's just a stimulation that I really like the feeling. So you can do that if you want, or you don't have to. Nice deep breaths here. And we're going to start to move into our sun salutations. Do a couple of standing poses and then move right into a couple of deep hip openers into rest. So slowly start to gravitate yourself back into your downward facing dog. I'm moving right into your downward facing dog from here. Okay. So this is about the fourth one, so you should feel a little bit warmed up. I'm going to take the right leg forward and then the left leg. I'm going to come right into spinal extension. So you can place your hands on your shins if you like, or you can keep them down on the, on the mat if you have that extensional leg. From here, fold forward. Best you can. Inhale and come all the way up. Arms are going to go overhead. You're going to look up just past the thumbs. And exhale, release. And we're going to take two nice sun citations. So inhale, arms. 
pull into the belly. Exhale, elongate. Carry with you that positive state of mind, that positive attitude. Inhale to extend, halfway lengthen. Exhale, into your hands, step back into your full plank. And then anchor in your tailbone towards your heels. Put your shoulder blades on your back with nice strong straight arms. Firm up your stomach muscles and hinge forward on the tips of your toes. And then see if you can come into Chaturanga Dandasana. It's where you hover about a foot from the floor. Okay, if not, then you can come all the way down and move into your cobra pose. Okay? Otherwise, if you're in Chaturanga, just come right up the dog. Move right into your upward facing dog. And then use your belly muscles. Up and over. And just alternate back and forth through the feet. And take two more breaths here. And release your head. Maybe open your mouth and release your jaw. Maybe let your tongue hang out and just, just cleanse your throat. Whatever you want to do. You just want to However you can get there, step forward with your feet towards your hands. And move right into your extension from here. Exhale and fold forward. Uttanasana. Present to the hands. Inhale and come all the way up. And exhale. One more of those. In the arms up. And exhale to fold forward. Inhale, elongate your torso. Spinal extension. Exhale, press into your hands. Step back into your plank. Choose what you want to do here. If it's chaturanga or Hover and lower with strength. Cobra or your upward facing dog. And lift, rewind like a wave up and through the spine to the hips. Weight goes now into the feet and the hands, lifting through your pelvic floor. Relax your head. Maybe you want to sway side to side. I really enjoy that because it gets into my lats. It's really tight in there too. Two more breaths here, for Just for the sake of releasing. It's nice to move the body around, you know? It changes the, the mind, the set of the mind. It cleanses the, the palate of our voice, the way that we'll speak after. And then step forward, feet right towards your hands. Spinal extension, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, all the way up. And exhale. Take a couple moments with your hands in towards your heart center. Maybe you can feel your heart beating against your thumbs. And that is an expression of your body. Thank you. Here for a couple moments of thought and allow those thoughts to be positive, the attitude towards your thoughts to help carry you through the rest of the practice as your hands come down. Roll your shoulders a little bit. We're going to go into Ardhandrasana, half moon, and we're going to twist that moon. So you can take your right leg back, left leg's forward, and you can use something like a block if you like, or if you have a nearby wall, you can, you can lean into the wall, right? I'm going to go ahead and lunge into my left knee and reach my hand about a, about a foot in front. And then I'm going to flex my foot like I'm going to kick the wall behind me. And maybe I can straighten the leg, maybe I can't. But regardless, I'm going to work through it. Take with me a good attitude. Maybe you want to take your hand to your hip and pinch it for a little bit of stimulation. Or you can take the arm straight up. Pause here. A couple good breaths. If you'd like to join in, if it suits you, to twist this little asana around, you can. So what we do is we inhale. As you turn your hip bones face the floor, your toes face the floor, your right hand now goes down. Keep your hips neutral, and all that's going to happen is your left arm's going to go up, and you're going to gaze to 
towards your left side. A couple good breaths here. So still pretend that you're kicking the wall behind you, just like you would a warrior three. So squeeze the back muscles to help encourage that rotation. Twists are phenomenal. So when you come out of a twist, inhale, bring both hands down, and then step forward into a nice forward fold. Inhale, you're gonna roll up. Arms come with, and exhale, slide down the front of the torso. Release. Now you're gonna go the other side. So you're gonna take your right foot forward and your left leg back, okay? And you're gonna reach your right hand in front, and you're gonna extend your left leg behind you, flexing the foot, okay? Maybe you wanna pinch the waist, maybe you wanna reopen that chest, revisit this opening on the other side. Okay, and breathe here. You know where I like to stare, which helps for balance, helps the sattva, is where the ceiling and the wall meet out in front of my gaze. So that I don't always have to crank my neck all the time. Because sometimes I, you can, I do, I get a little bit tight in my sternocleidomastoids, it gets a little bit tight in there. So, or like it feels a bit weak. So you don't always have to crank the gaze. So where the wall and the ceiling meet, a little crack, a nice spot. Now I'm gonna twist this little baby here. So I'm gonna inhale, bring the left hand down as my thigh and hips rotate to face the floor. My left toes stay facing the floor. Right arm goes up as I rotate through my lower ribs and up. Everything below, hips and legs stay neutral. Take a good couple breaths there as you squeeze your back muscles, keep the belly firm, and find a steady base point. So I'm still kicking that wall behind me. Warrior three foot. I'm gonna inhale, come out of this twist. Exhale to a nice forward fold. Now we're gonna move into, as we lengthen up, squat down, lift your heels. We're gonna move into a hip opener on the floor. We're gonna do two. And before we do that, we're gonna graduate there, okay? So this posture that we're gonna do is just the flexion of the hip here up and down. So I'm gonna come right into fourth fold. Grab my big toes with my peace fingers, and you can bind your thumb around your fingernails. And all you're gonna do is squat down as far as you can, pulling up on the toes a little bit for a little safety. So you bend down, bend down, bend down. Okay, as far as you can. And then lean forward as you pull up on the toes. This is great release in the lower back. And then you fold forward. Doesn't matter if your legs don't get straight. You keep a nice soft bend in the knees, or you have a big bend in the knees, that's okay. As long as you're being mobile, as long as you're doing the work, that's fine. And then you bend down again. Just be happy that you can move around. Yeah. And then lengthening up. This time you're going to use your hands behind you. You're going to come right down onto your mat. How do we get there? Nice and comfy. So this posture here that we're going to do, you're going to make like the letter V with your leg. Right leg is going to come behind you. You're going to flex the foot to stabilize the knee joint, okay? Don't let it be flimsy. Flex it. And then you're going to flip it to the inside arch. So I'm not pulling the heel towards my glute. I'm flexing the foot and making my, my thigh and my shin like the letter V, okay? And then I'm gonna lift my hips and see if I can get nice and comfy. You might wanna put a towel or a block or like an underneath your rear. And then the left leg is gonna flex the foot and stay out. This might be good enough. This might be where you're at. If you struggle with the knee, all by all means, you can hug the knee joint closed, you can take the thigh, the calf, and close it, okay? Simple dimple. So if you can tolerate it, it's a rotation of the femur, so this is a big, thick forward fold. <laughs> so to start, if you're at this point, see if you can come over sort of moving away from the, the opposite leg, moving out of the stretch. 
left essentially. Okay. Pause here and get into the hamstring on the left side. See how that venture goes for you. If you're okay and you think that you can go a little deeper or a little bit further through this experience, then come on up. Let's go. So this is lefty. This is my left leg, my left hip. Sometimes I name things. <laughs> lefty and I have a little bit of a problem. So we're gonna carry with us a good attitude. <laughs> right, Lefty? All right, here we go. So now I'm coming forward, keeping my feet flexed and stable. Like I'm gonna put a, my favorite pair of flip flops on. And I'm gonna come forward, and you might get part way and be like, whoa, what is going on in there? It's okay, just pause, okay? If you can go a little bit further, Make sure you keep everything stable. Don't move around, right? Especially with the rotation of the right leg in this, in this case here. If you feel any stress around the knee, just come to the part that felt good prior, right? Otherwise, five big ones. Inhale. Do not sag, do not slouch, okay? Support the body, support the posture. You're doing some work here. Some good positive work, a good solid attitude. Three more breaths. If you'd like to stack your fists, you can stack the fists if you can get that far. You can even use your block, if you want to put a block on your head or whatever you have handy for your tulip. Or you just want to flat out lie on the floor if you're, if you're that graceful and you go right ahead. Me and Lefty here, we're not that graceful on this side. <laughs> And then we're gonna walk our hands back and keep everything stable, okay? So think about this side like coming out of a twist. We're gonna inhale. Keep everything solid, and we're just gonna flip it to the other side. So the outside baby toe edge comes in. And we're gonna take Jianhu Shir Shasana A. So I'm just gonna turn my body, and we're gonna take the arch of the foot to the inside of the thigh and you're going to keep the foot now off the hip, it's not out to the side, it's now straight down and you're going to fold forward, squeezing the knee joint and pressing like as if someone's pressing on the leg for you and you come on in, five good breaths here I love this one because you get into your quadratus lumborum so the wrap of the obliques into the, to the low back into the side waist here. I will right in here to feel it. Feels great. So say something nice to yourself, whether you say it out loud or you say it in your mind, whether you sing it or shout it, say something nice to yourself that helps this journey remain giving you a positive attitude as you roll up and out of Janu A, release the legs. All right, if, you're, if your leg and your hip did good for you, say thank you. And we're gonna go into the other side. Okay, prior to going into the other side, bring your feet as close to you as you can. Squeeze your thighs, lift your torso, and press the weight into your feet and just draw your chin in. Relax. And feel the heat. And right now, before you go into the other side with me, take this time to give yourself some praise. And praise yourself for showing up, following through with the discipline, <coughs> following through with honor and developing that attitude for the day which is going to serve you and then serve the people that surround you. Okay? Animals too. <laughs> and then release your legs. Alright. So I'm going to take this lefty here. Lefty's now. Gonna work with me again. Flex my foot. Make my V. Alright? And then I take the right leg out. Okay? Adjust your hips. And take as long as you need, right? Some days it's different, and some sides are different, right? So as long as we just show up and do the work, it's all good. Right? So I'm gonna pause here for a minute, Lefty and I, and 
just gonna take a moment. If you're adventurous, you wanna maybe start at the leg first, okay? Stretch up the hammy, moving out of the stretch, and then working your way back into the stretch. Just so you don't crank up the volume in the hips, right? You don't want that loud noise in your head. Just wanna keep the radar nice and calm. It's like a, the whole body is like a GPS system, right? So you always wanna know where you're going. You don't wanna get lost. So we're gonna come down, or you might be already down, wherever you're at. And you wanna listen to the, to the rotation of the bent leg. You can feel the femur joint, the ball and socket, you can feel it rotating. And this stretch might be, if you don't do it, might feel a little bit foreign in your body because of the way that we're opening into the inner groin. Because in our culture, the, what we do daily doesn't really involve this kind of rotation unless we put it there. So that's why it's nice to show up and play on the mat together, eh? See if you can get four nice, deep, conscious breaths here. Enjoy the rhythm. Enjoy the currents that are moving through the body, giving you proportion, stabilization, and the gift to keep going. Keeping everything steady and on point. Always tuning in, always one step ahead here. And any tools that you develop along your path, like when you're doing your postures and your body, any, any little things that come up that you're like, oh, that really works for me. Put it in your toolbox and pull it out when you need it. And you're gonna walk back up, keep everything stable and steady and breathe. side and pretend that and you want to push it down like someone's actually pushing it down for you. This will keep you stable and then you're going to be able to graduate into the laborum. You're going to be able to get that stretch which is happiness. And you come forward. Five deep breaths. Give yourself the gift to say something nice again. You can say the same thing if you want. You can say something sweeter. Resting in, feeling the warmth. Now notice if you see any colors. Any colors. I see like red for some reason, but that's fine. I'm gonna go with it. And then inhale. And slowly come out. It's a nice deep hip stretch here. We're gonna swing it around. And then we're gonna go lie down on the back again, okay? And get ready for relaxation. So let's lie down on our backs. And when we wanna do that, let's inspire our core a little bit, okay? Let's give our core a good attitude. One of my favorite ways to go down is to squeeze my thighs and really, really engage this baby here and then lower down and start to lengthen the tailbone and then just hold, hold a little bit here. Give yourself a little bit of motivation and then hold just as long as you can and then release it down. Once you get down, bend your knees, okay? Hug them into your chest. Maybe give them another kiss. Ah, I think you need. Pelvis. 
place the feet down. Lift your hips up one last time here. Just move around a little bit if you can. Lift, lift, lift. It's nice to stimulate the glutes and in the um, gluteal fold, just underneath at the top of the thigh, right in there. You want to keep that strong. And then slowly lower down. And while you're moving into Shavasana, my favorite thing, take as long as you need there, all right? Hopefully you have some time and you can take the time to relax. Let your legs come down. So while you're moving through the body, let's do each other a favor. Let's let's do a favor. And while we focused on a good attitude, never know what kind of day any of us are having, right? But we can always we can always give it a 360. Alright? We just put our mindset to it and not let the outside world really affect what's going on in this world. Because this world is first. When this is good, everything else can be good. <laughs> so let's scan the body. Close your eyes. And thank you for joining me on the mat today and sharing a good attitude together. Sometimes you really need that encouragement and it's okay. Take some good deep breaths. So I'm going to let you rest and allow yourself the gift to tell yourself thank you. And the next set of words after you come from Shavasana out of your mouth are 